All right, we've got more new in-box PlayStation hardware to take a look at, an original PSP 1000, and also an OLED PS Vita. Let's take them out, get a close look, uh, power them on, play some games, and then throw them into the display cabinet. Now, if you saw the PlayStation 3 video, then you know what we're getting into, which is uh, both Japanese, that's the best way to get these things uh, new at a you know cheaper price versus uh, North American consoles. Um, or handhelds for that matter. So uh, PSP, same deal. There was uh, no sticker. A lot of Japanese electronics do that, uh, which this is a core model PSP. So it's it's just the system. <laughs> That's really all you're getting is the PSP, battery, and uh, you know, get out of here. So not the value pack, but um, we'll take a look at that second. Uh, also the Vita, this did have a sticker seal, which um, between the PlayStation 3s, the PSP, and with this where you see this this is broken, I mean, I, I do open them right then and there to at least confirm hardware is in there. Um, but in terms of really taking them out, testing them, I just kind of waited to do that until now. So these are also something where I've sat on these for quite a bit. Um, but they will be going into the display cabinet. Nice, fresh, uh, new looking uh, PlayStation Vita OLED. I actually got this somewhat recently. It was like a year ago or something. No, maybe like two years ago. Uh, but there's your documentation. Uh, it's just a standard Vita 1000 model. Welcome to the world of PlayStation. And uh, got our cable, AC adapter, more cables for charging it. Do have some documentation and our Vita right there. I believe that's, yeah, that's about it. That's all you get. So I'll actually put this stuff back away for now. Obviously with the Vita, um, it's probably gonna have to take on a charge, I would have to imagine. So uh, at least when it comes to uh, powering it on, I, I don't think we're gonna be able to, do <laughs> I highly doubt we're gonna be able to do that right now, but we'll at least take a look at it. There it is. A very crisp PlayStation Vita. Or the camera, there you go, having trouble focusing. Oh my God, it looks so gorgeous. Oh, PlayStation Vita, be still my beating heart. And the back, and I mean, I'm not gonna display it back facing, but at least with the back, that's something where like, you know, secondhand PS Vitas are gonna look pretty rough. So it's nice to have one that, uh, as I say, is a clean example. So I mean, I'll, I'll try and power it on, but don't think we're gonna have much luck there. Surprising uh, absolutely no one, it has no charge. All right, while that's charging, we will look at the PSP, which, uh, yeah, did not need the, uh, the value pack where it comes with the earbuds and um, a memory stick and things like that, the, the sampler disc. I've already got all those from when I had gotten my PSP a long time ago. And you can see this, <laughs> this box has uh, some staining and, and uh, what appears to be uh, the onset of mold or moisture damage. But again, I, I did inspect this uh, quite a bit ago when I had gotten my hands on it documentation and that was primarily the concern was the battery right the battery bloat that can happen with PSPs um, this one battery did look fine so I just threw it back in there which maybe was not a great idea but um, the battery was was seemingly fine so for now at least we do have it if we ever need it but I've got one to the side which um, is actually my original PSP battery which is the the funny thing about that right I mean it's like, it's like one of those weird, well-known things. Oh, check your battery, make sure your battery's okay. This is straight up my battery from 2005 launch day PSP. It has always worked and uh, still held a pretty good charge. I'll put that back. That's gonna be one half of the AC adapter. So the other half is up top, I imagine. Yep, there it is right there. And there is our new PSP. And here we go. PSP. And just like the Vita, extremely clean. Oh my. 
I am again getting very jazzed up, possibly downstairs, but that's really okay during a moment like this. At least I think so. Yeah, the back too, like the back's kind of a big deal with PSPs. These are of course gonna get scuffed up, he uh, scuffed up here, here where it's rusting on a table, and uh, that circular little like metallic trim piece, that accent piece, that will get scratched up pretty good too over, over time. But we do have a PSP here. Let's pop in the battery and fire her up. We've got power. Just like it's 2005. Or in this case with PSP, 2004. You'll have to excuse me because the camera angle is a little wonky, so I gotta find, I gotta angle it this way. Yep, default date is 2004. This PSP is on version 1.51. Uh, not gonna update it, obviously, but uh, this is something where I don't, th I think the firmware is so low that you can't manually change the uh, XMB color because right now it's uh, strictly all white, which is kind of a pain to film on. If you do get a close-up look though, we have no PlayStation Network, just a uh, game, video, music, photo, settings, and very few settings on version 1.51. So it's absolutely a very early PSP, but not so early that we can't play a game Bam. Read the UMD like a champ. Okay, this camera angle is so awkward. There's like no actual way I'll be able to play this. Like with the, the bad viewing angles of PSP, like I can barely make out what I'm what I'm dropping down here. I know that was short-lived, but we're really not <laughs> looking to straight up play this, so uh, hey, it works. We know what version it's on, and uh, it looks crystal clean, which is exactly what I need out of this thing. All right, let's get that Vita turned on, huh? Sony, make dot believe. <laughs> so it's on an old firmware too. I don't think it has that anymore for the default startup screen. Hey! Yep, no D-pad controls. Sounds good. Default time, 2011, so this is a, a very early PS Vita. I don't think I actually, I wasn't trying to get a super early one, just a, a new one at the time. There's that fancy little intro that you really don't get to see too often. Kind of just do that once and then you never see it again. Unless you were changing PSN IDs on a Vita, which was always a massive pain. They never had multi-user setups on Vita. Wow. The world of PlayStation Vita is just so exciting. This handheld has a bright future. With your PlayStation Vita system, you can transfer data. Yep. You gonna let me exit out of that? All right, yeah, you, you keep trying to set up the mobile network. You see how that works out for you. There's our home screen. And that's all we got. This Vita is on 1.05. It's about as early as it gets on this thing for when they were shipped to, to retailers, I believe. All right. Oh! It's, the firmware is too low for Uncharted uh, Golden Abyss. Wow, it needs 1.6, we're on 1.5. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if that's worth doing. We've all seen Uncharted, right? We all know what it looks like on Vita. Looks gorgeous. 
I'll throw in some B-roll of me playing it on my original 1000 that's, you know, it doesn't look as clean as this. I, I think it, we're confident in saying it would play, but I do not want to update this beta. Quite frankly, I don't even want to play it or have it out this as, as long... For as long as I've had this out and exposed, I'm already kind of like, eh, let's just get it in the, in the cabinet. Speaking of which, here's an update on that. Looking good with the two PlayStation 3s on the bottom, and then up top is going to be the handhelds. Our PSP and Vita are looking clean up there. Uh, also, the acrylic stands they're sitting on, those are from Rose Colored Gaming, and uh, I like them a lot. So it's really coming together here. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. And I will see you all in my next one. You take it easy.